Hey there, welcome back to Cobweb Castle. My name is Elliot. This is my YouTube channel. And I was going to do a quick feeding video and just showcase a few of the insects that I have and what it's, what it's like to feed them. And first off, we'll check out these two velvet ants. And these guys are very easy to take care of. They're Both of these are wild caught. And pretty much I just make sure they have fresh water and honey. Or you can do sugar water, um, make kind of like a nectar type of drink. And that's all they really drink is uh, water and honey. They are very easy to take care of. And if you would like to get some of these, I believe you can purchase them. I would check out Aquirmax Pets. Russ has done a couple of videos uh, on his channel. And also Russ has been featured on Clint's Reptiles. And if you just search Velvet Ant, um, I'm sure you can find some more information. Now, if you're gonna catch these yourself there, if you live in the South area or wherever these things are located, and there's a huge area in the United States where they're located, it's very easy to catch one too. I mean, they're pretty easy to spot because of their coloring. And all you really need to do is to get a, um, like a, a sandwich bag or maybe like a bigger uh, gallon size bag and you just hold it out in front of them and kind of chase them in with a stick or something. I highly recommend don't touch them because their sting is very painful. But other than that, they are very interesting to watch. Um, I changed the little habitat I had them in. Uh, I put this little white gravel in there. And before I just had like um, little pieces of bark from like you would put around your um, bushes or, or landscaping and that was a little easier for them to kind of dig around I think they like to kind of dig and search for things but um they're really neat I mean just to be able to get some close observations of them and, and even you can kind of hear the little chirping noise um, they, when I you can house them together too these are both females you can house them together and um they would kind of get irritated a little bit at each other, but they're, you know, they can't hurt each other. So it's pretty neat. All right, moving on, we're going to take a look at this little jumping spider. These are just a couple of wild jumping spiders that are, uh, you know, locally here in my area. I like to catch them and um, observe them, I'm feeding this one a little cricket. And I, I do this to for me to observe them, but also so I can have some subjects to get some some neat macro video um, footage of so I can you know show it on my channel I've really been concentrating on making a lot of short videos and uh, that's why it's you know you haven't seen a long longer form video here in a, a pretty good while the short videos are easier to make but um, I am gonna tr start working on some more longer uh, videos but um this particular type of spider is fairly easy to deal with. Um, it did kind of get frightened right there. You saw it come back and, and um, re-acquire uh, that, that cricket that was already dead. I, I kind of scared it off when I swapped to my macro lens. But you see it was still hungry so it came over to get the, uh, the cricket again. But I, I like the macro lens that I, it just attaches to my phone and I mean, just look at this footage. It's, it's pretty neat to get this close and to be able to see what's going on with the spider. Now this is my grand sling chamber. This is the very tiny um, uh, southern house spider. And I keep it in this little habitat. I think I've shown this on another video before. I'm going to try to get these better into... Uh, production and have these for sale on my website. I just haven't um, figured out all the pieces to it yet. But this is a really neat way to, to observe your little tiny southern house spider. You see it's basically the same type of um, setup as the bigger uh, spider keep. It's got the hole, it's got the little sticks, and the, the spider just makes the web on that area and comes out and gets a fruit fly. And then lastly here, this is the uh, spider keep. 
I still have these for sale on my website. If you if you have seen these um, before on YouTube and you, you would like to pick one up, just go to uh, www.cobwebcastle.com and you can buy one of these alone. Or if you live in the United States, you can get one with a live spider. And I've had many sales to all over the place and um, it's been it's been very neat. So check out the website and we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.